Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eighth grade, unit five, lesson 13. The volume of a cylinder. Number one, match each set of information about a circle with the area of that circle. A, circle A has a radius of four units. The area of a circle is pi times r squared. And in this case, r is four. So four squared is 16. So the area of this circle is 16 times pi. This matches with number four. 16 times pi square units. B, circle B has a radius of 10 units. So the area for circle B is pi times 10 squared or pi times 100. Since pi is approximately 3.14 and we multiply 3.14 by 100, the area of circle B matches with 2, approximately 314 square units. C. Circle C has a diameter of 16 units. That means the radius is 8, since the radius is half the diameter and half of 16 is 8. The area of circle C is pi times 8 squared, or pi times 64. Circle C matches with number 3. 64 times pi square units. D. Circle D has a circumference of 4 times pi units. So this information tells us that the circumference equals 4 times pi. That means that the radius must be 2 because 2 times 2 equals 4. So both the circumference is 4 times pi and the area is 4 times pi square units. Circle D matches with 1. 4 times pi square units. Problem number 2. A. Sketch a cylinder. B. Label its radius 3 and its height 10. C. Shade in one of its bases. Problem number 3. At a farm, animals are fed bales of hay and buckets of grain. Each bale of hay is in the shape of a rectangular prism. The base has side lengths 2 feet and 3 feet, and the height is 5 feet. Each bucket of grain is a cylinder with a diameter of 3 feet. The height of the bucket is 5 feet, the same as the height of the bale. A. Which is larger in area, the rectangle base of the bale or the circular base of the bucket? Explain how you know. This diagram represents a bale of hay with a length of 2 feet, a width of 3 feet, and a height of 5 feet. And this diagram represents the bucket with a diameter of 3 feet and a height of 5 feet. The rectangular base of the bale of hay has an area of 2 feet times 3 feet, so that would be 6 feet squared. The circular base of the pail would have an area of pi times r squared. Its diameter is 3 feet, so the radius is going to be half of 3 feet, which is 1.5. So the area would be 3.14 times 1.5 squared, or 3.14 times 2.25. The area of the circular base of the cylinder is approximately 7 feet squared. The circular base of the bucket has a larger area than the rectangular base of the bale of hay. B. Which is larger in volume, the bale or the bucket? Explain how you know. To find the volume of the bale of hay, we need to multiply the length times the width times the height. So the volume equals 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. The volume of the bale of hay is 30 feet cubed. To find the volume of the bucket, we need to multiply pi times r squared times height. 3.14 times r squared times height. Since the diameter is 3, the radius is going to be 1.5. So 3.14 times 1.5 squared times 5. The volume of the bucket is approximately 35 feet cubed. The bucket has the larger volume. 
Problem number four. Three cylinders have a height of eight centimeters. Cylinder one has a radius of one centimeter. Cylinder two has a radius of two centimeters. And cylinder three has a radius of three centimeters. Find the volume of each cylinder. The formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times height. Cylinder number one has a radius of one centimeter so to find the volume, we'll multiply 3.14 times 1 squared times 8 centimeters. Cylinder number 1 has a volume of approximately 25.12 centimeters cubed. Cylinder number 2 has a radius of 2 centimeters. So we'll multiply 3.14 times 2 squared times 8. The volume for cylinder 2 is approximately 100.48 centimeters cubed. Cylinder 3 has a radius of 3 centimeters. We'll multiply 3.14 times 3 squared times 8. Cylinder number 3 has a volume of approximately 226 and 8 hundredths centimeters cubed. Problem number five from eighth grade unit five lesson 12. A one quart container of tomato soup is shaped like a rectangular prism. A soup bowl shaped like a hemisphere can hold eight ounces of liquid. How many bowls will the soup container fill? Recall that one quart is equivalent to 32 fluid ounces. Each bowl can hold eight ounces of liquid and the soup container can hold 32 fluid ounces. So 32 divided by 8 equals 4. The soup container can fill 4 bowls of soup. Problem number 6 from 8th grade unit 5 lesson 8. Two students join a puzzle solving club and get faster at finishing the puzzles as they get more practice. Student A improves their times faster than student B. A. Match the students to the lines L and M. The horizontal axis, or the x-axis, represents the number of days of practice, and the vertical axis, or the y-axis, represents minutes to complete a puzzle. Here you can see that line L starts at 6 minutes. On the first day, it took 6 minutes to complete a puzzle. As the days progressed, eventually, it's taken them less than 3 minutes to complete a puzzle. Line M starts at 5 minutes and ends at 4 minutes. Student A is represented by line L, and student B is represented by line M. B. Which student was faster at puzzle solving before practice? Student B was faster before practice, but student A became faster after practice. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.